The rain is holding off though, so your evening plans look okay, but it's going to be later on tonight that all of this rain is going to be pushing in. It's all in advance of a cold front that will drop temperatures by tomorrow night, but during the day tomorrow really won't notice a big difference. It'll get breezy though. It's still pretty warm. So there's the cloud cover. A few stray showers trying to get going in the mountains, but the bulk of the rain is still to the west. 10 p.m. Light showers developing across the mountains, uh, and then that's going to start to expand into the upstate later. So by 4 a.m seeing a pretty good coverage of rain. Most of it light, few moderate downpours where you're seeing some of the darker green colors. And then our opportunity probably for the heaviest rain will come toward about 7 to 9 a.m. And then that front passes on by. As it does, it's going to take the rain with it. So 11 a.m. still a few lingering showers, but a good rule of thumb tomorrow after lunch is really when it's looking the best. So by 2 p.m., all that rain clearing out and the sun will emerge. So temperatures tonight in the mid 60s. Uh, so really not all that chilly outside with the rain building in late in the mountains, upper 50. So warmer than normal for this time of year, thanks to the clouds sticking in place and that front hadn't moved through yet. So just nothing to really cool us off. Mid 70s by the afternoon tomorrow. So with that sun coming out, the breeze picking up, you're not going to feel the cool air yet. But by tomorrow night, that's when we'll get that cooler air. So we're going to give it an uh, grade, a six on the Carolina Sky Meter for tomorrow since we have that wet morning, but a couple nice hours during the afternoon. It will be a bit breezy though. No big rain totals expected either. We would love to get some more drought busting rain. Quarter inch, I mean, we'll take it. Somewhere between that and a half inch will be possible, uh, but this isn't going to be a total soaker like what we had this past Saturday. Now, speaking of Saturday, looking ahead to this upcoming Saturday, looking soggy again. We may see some clearing skies by Saturday night and then a nice Sunday in store. Here's what the latest GFS computer model has. Friday evening, the rain takes over, could interfere with high school football, and then it could get heavy sat Friday night into Saturday. Lunchtime, still some lingering rain on Saturday, but Saturday night, Sunday, most of it moves away. Now, that's just one computer model. Some other ones suggest that the rain could linger into Sunday, so we've got a little 20% chance there. We'll fine tune that timing so that you can plan ahead for anything you want to do outside going into this weekend. Of course, a lot of stuff going on across our area, so We'll definitely keep you posted on when some of that heavier rain is possible, but no rain Wednesday and Thursday. Those will be delightfully beautiful fall days. Of course, you can always head to foxcarolina.com for your interactive radar anytime, as well as our webcast. Now let's pitch it on over to meteorologist Ben Dorenbach, who has a look at some things coming up in the next couple of days. Or kind of a cool show that's on tap for us, Ben. Yeah, that's right, Kendra. We have the Orionid meteor shower that's coming up well tonight and tomorrow night. But honest to goodness, our viewing is not going to be the greatest. So timing could have been better. But honestly, we're going to be close enough to the peak where we're going to see OK viewing conditions, mainly from about midnight to 6 a.m. Tuesday night. We'll have a clear sky and a moon with less than half uh, brightness. So honestly, not too bad of a night tomorrow night. Tonight's not looking the best. Some meteors are from that. Actually, this meteor shower in particular from Halley's Comet. So that's kind of a little interesting tidbit. So so just taking a look at the conditions between tonight and tomorrow night, the peak of it's going to be technically tonight, tomorrow morning, and that's when our visibility isn't going to be the best. It's going to actually be pretty poor with those rain showers and clouds moving through the area. It's not the strongest meteor shower ever either. It's about 5 to 15 meteors per hour, so certainly not uh, really much compared to the Perseid meteor shower, which we had a few months ago. But uh, so viewing conditions tomorrow are going to be much better, so tomorrow night better than today. And there's no real particular direction. The Orion constellation is found in the southeast sky, but honestly, your viewing conditions are going to be good no matter what. Just go to a rural area and just allow yourself to about 10 15 minutes for your eyes to get adjusted to the darkness. You want a really dark place to view that, so just good luck with that. Tomorrow night, better than 